Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. So from the title and the thumbnail of today's video, you could tell that everything we're going to discuss here today is totally free. So if you are an international student and you want to study in Finland for absolutely free, then I recommend that you watch the video to the end. Friends, my name is Kissy and I share content on study abroad, scholarship opportunities, internships, and every opportunity you can find out there. So if you are interested in these kind of contents, then you're not lost. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, turn the post notification on, and you should like the video. Also, I will be glad if you could share my video to as many friends and family as you can. So from my previous video, I mentioned that schooling in Finland can be costly for international students. Yeah, I mean, up until 2017, international students were studying in Finland for totally free, but afterwards, they had to pay tuition fee, ranging between 8,000 euros to 25,000 euros, which is um very high for international students but in today's video i did my day game my searching and i found a couple of programs that international students can apply to for totally free in finland now some of these schools even offer lunch and so if you want free lunch free application and free tuition you should watch this video um to the end but you should bear in mind that once it is free it needs much work in the application process because it's very competitive so before we start with the main agenda for today's video i would like to state or advise that if you are an international student who have got the opportunity to study in a foreign country do well to do internships co-ops voluntary works whilst you're schooling this will give you an upper hand once you're done with school in the job market okay now today's program is more of towards that side there are programs that gives you hands-on experience whilst you're studying and so once you're done with school you can add to your cv that you have practical experience in the field in which you study and so Finding job becomes very easy for you as an international student looking for a job or as a foreigner or an immigrant looking for a job in Finland. Okay, so these programs you're going to look at are vocational programs. Now, the first school we're looking at is Varia Vocational College and the programs they offer in English, which is made available to international students, are restaurant and catering services and tourism industry so these are the two programs that you can apply to as an international student because the program is taken in english so let's take a look at the restaurant and catering services so on the programs page they give a brief objective of the program okay um the aim of the program and then what they hope you should achieve once you're done with the program the duration of this program is between two and a half years to three years and the cost of studying in varia college is free of charge and so is a daily lunch now at the beginning the students are required to purchase uniform one for the kitchen and one for customer service and professional shoes set of knives and study books all this add up to approximately 550 euros there is no need to buy anything before you start the program so yes this is the only cost involved in studying in this um college all you have to do is to buy your study materials and then you're good to go lunch is free tuition is free application is free okay now for you to apply you use their online application portal which is this and the application period for autumn intake is between October and November, um, where tuition starts or begins in January. And for the spring intake, application is between April and May for start of program in August. Now, for the admission criteria, you need to be fluent in the English language since this program is being taught in English. There will be an interview anyway, and then if you have a work experience, and then the finished language skill it will be an added advantage okay it will be an added advantage but it is not mandatory 
Also, working in a food or catering sector requires physical health, and so you should have good physical health. You shouldn't be sick or diagnosed with any disease of that sort if you're working or be studying in this particular program. Now, for employment opportunities, you can work as a staff in a restaurant, institutional kitchens, catering service, fast food, cafes, and what have you. And once you're done with your studies, you can also further in either a University of Applied Science or in a university in Finland. Now, if you want more information about this program or you need a counselor, somebody to talk to regarding this program, um, you can speak to Donita through this email address. And then you can also speak to the applicant service through this email address. Or you can call them, okay? They have their contact numbers here, so you can call them. So that is it for this program. Take a look at the tourism industry. The duration of this program is between one and a half to two years. And the cost of this program is also free of charge. And so is daily lunch. Now, student estimated expenses per student for about two years of study is 400 euros. This is for study materials, like your workload and your study trips. You need a personal laptop for this program. And then to apply, um, currently application is closed for this academic year. However, you can make your research, your preparation, and anything that needs to be done towards next year if you want to apply to this program, especially for those who are looking for short courses and then one or two years program. You can look at this. They've also listed the list of skills that you should acquire once you're done with the program. And then students also have the opportunity to apply for international work-based learning periods. You can also further your studies um, in, in a university of applied sciences or university in Finland. For more information, contacts are also listed here. So you can reach out to them and then you make more inquiries. Or if you need counsel, there is a study counselor here you can reach out to. The next school we're looking at is Vamia College or Vamia College. Now, um, Vamia has limited English um, thought programs, okay? And this programs are vocational qualification in restaurants and catering services where you can study to become a cook or waiter or waitress and a vocational qualification in mechanical engineering and production technology where you can study to become a mechanist mechanical fitter or a plater welder all in english so these are the programs that are taught in english in vamia so let's take a look at the cook or the restaurant and catering service program so they've given a brief intro introduction about the program um the tax probably what um, you hope to achieve once you're done with the program and then for the educational arrangement, the duration for the program is approximately three years. The third year is mainly on the job learning. So in the third year, you get to learn hands-on experience in um, restaurant and in catering service in this particular program. The program composition or what makes up the program for the three years is listed here. And it's stated here again that studying is free of charge. The school will provide the new students with appropriate uniform for kitchen and restaurant work. Now let's look at how to apply and then the requirement. The general requirement at Vamia is you should have necessary qualification for studying in the field and completing a degree. Uh, you should also have an educational need. You should be motivated. You should be suitable for the tax in the field and you should have sufficient health requirements for the chosen field. You should have adequate language proficiency for the field. For specific requirements for English language vocational qualification programs, um, what they accept is you should be at least 18 years of age when studies start. There is no upper limit. So if you are 40 years, you can still be part of this program. You should have at least qualification relevant to finish basic education of nine years. That is, you should have completed secondary or high school education. And under that, you need scan or photo 
of your original certificate when you're applying. Original certificate should be in English, Finnish, or Swedish. If not, it should be translated into English, Finnish, or Swedish, and it should be verified by a public notary. You should have successfully completed the English language proficiency test, which is a Duolingo test. We will look at the minimum score later. And you should have a valid passport or personal ID card, which is attached to the application. Without this, your application will not be considered. And then you cannot complete your application after the application period is closed. For students who need a residence permit, once you are selected for the study program in Finland, you should have enough funds for living expenses on your account to be present for the immigration officer for the study permit. And more information is there, but we will be looking at that in subsequent um, colleges. Okay, so the documents you need in submitting your application is your school certificate, your work certificate, which will give you an added advantage, your Duolingo English test result, um, a copy or photo of your passport or ID card. What they don't need as part of your application is your bank information, your health information or letter of recommendation. You don't include the last three I mentioned. It's not needed in the application. Now for the English test, applicants must have completed the Duolingo English test. The score is submitted to the application. So please note that the test has to be valid at the time of applying. The Duolingo test point is a minimum of 85. So Vamia does not provide free voucher for taking the for taking the Duolingo test. And so on the Duolingo test, you choose Vamia as your school. You send the results and then you save the file to attach to the application. English language test cannot be weighed. Kindly note that. And then they do not accept any other test. Diplomas or qualification as proof of language skills. Please, nobody should ask me about language proficiency in the comment section because it has been stated here clearly. Okay? And then due to high volume of emails regarding this matter, we are unable to respond to inquiries related to this. Okay? <laughs> it has also been stated here. For the application procedure, they select approximately 25 students per application round for each vocational program. And then due to limited resources, they limit their applications to 500 per program. So um, the final day for application is not specified separately. The application form will be closed as soon as they receive 500 applications. It is not possible to complete the application outside the application period. Okay, so then there is one thing I want to draw your attention to here, which is you have to be on the side like I've given you the application periods for the ones that are opened, okay? Or if I did not, you can reach out to the counselors and then the applicant service and then they will let you know the times that you can submit your application. Once you get to know of that period, you should be on the site like on a daily basis because once application is opened, a lot of people send through the application. So sometimes it doesn't even get to an hour, it doesn't get to a week before the 500 um, applications are received. And once the 500 is received, they close application. So it could be stated that um, the application period is maybe one month. But once 500 application has been received in a day, they close the applications. So that's how it works here. Now there is no application fee to Vamia. And application periods are organized twice in the year. Next application period is in December 2024. So between November to December, you should be on the lookout for this particular um, college, okay? It is also stated here that you can only apply to one of the English programs. You can apply to more than one. And then you fill out the application form accurately. It's important that the name you provide in the application matches the one on your passport. The Finnish Immigration Service does not grant the right to study if you have provided a wrong name in the application. Also, you, up, you upload all required documents while the application period is on. You do not need a motivational letter for the application. You'll be notified by email when the application has been received. Based on applications, the applicant who received the highest score 
will be invited to Teams meeting. The admission results will be announced approximately two months after the application period is closed and all applicants will be informed whether they are selected or not. An admission letter will be sent to the selected new student. The admission letter includes information about the health document and how to apply for resident permit. Now this college is located in a state or region called Vasa. So let's look at the cost in studying in Vasa and living in Vasa. So in Vembia, they do not charge tuition fee and the school provides you with free lunch for the students. Students buy themselves other materials, which is okay. And they have apartment and then other accommodation options, which you can research on using this link. Then they also have the student health services. Now these services are for free for the student. For for student financial aid, international students are not eligible for government funded social benefits or anything of that sort in Finland. And so that brings us to how much you will spend approximately in a month living in this particular state. So you're going to spend approximately 800 euros for food, for rent and other living costs. And so for the year, or for your residence permit, you should have in your account an amount of approximately 6,720 euros only, which should be in your account. And this is what you can use to apply for your residence permit and then your visa as well. So yeah, that is all that you need for the year. Other details as to the resident permit and then visa application is also listed here. They also have emails that you can reach out to for more information on that. Now let's move on to the next college, which is Saki. So studying at Saki, almost all your programs are taken in Finnish, excluding the Plata Welder Education, which there are no application at this period. But this program is taken in English. So if you want to take a program in Plata Welder Education, then you should look out for this particular college, um, Savo Educational College. Vocational trainings in this college um, normally takes between two to four years to complete. And after completing a vocational upper secondary degree, you can engage in further studies or apply to study in higher education. For the application criteria, applicants must have completed basic education either in Finland or in their home country. And for programs taking in Finnish language skills, um, these are the requirements. That is not my focus. The language requirements mentioned do not apply for the Plata or the Plata Welder Education Program as it is conducted in English. For residence permit and any other thing, you can find it here. Now, for the fees, in Finland, monthly living expenses for students, including food accommodation, travel, and an insurance, are around 700 to 900 euros. So you take note of that. Vocational degrees are free of charge. However, students must cover the following course themselves. Any material, books, and other learning materials needed for the course. Your travel expenses, any work clothes and shoes needed during the course, any potential proficiency tests required for different jobs, and then housing and other living costs. All this will be borne by the student. For the application process, um, application takes place electronically through the Savo Vocational College website. Um, application form is in Finnish, so you have to translate it into English. Now, if you need personal guidance, you can reach out to this email address and they will assist you. Kindly don't send emails like hi, hello, and leave it there. It is not acceptable. Go straight to the point. There should be a subject to the question you want to ask, okay? There should be a subject and then you go straight to the point and they will get back to you. If you send an email with, hello, how are you? I'm sure they wouldn't respond to your email. So please, with your emails, go straight forward to it. I'm looking forward to do um, a video on how to reach out to schools. I mean, how to send emails to them because some of the emails I'm receiving, 
and then the messages I'm receiving on my socials they can be I don't want to mention but then I'll try and then do a video on that so as to correct you since some of you are just from college and some of you are also from high school I'll try and do that to help you with how to draft your email so the next school is Riveria Vocational College and this is their home page okay now this college has a number of programs taught in English they have quite a lot of programs taught in English so they have vocational qualification and cleaning and property service site they also have um, a vocational qualification in food production baker confectioner they also have one in plata welder then they have a cook that's the restaurant and catering service they also have the protocol nurse and yeah these are the ones that they have but some of them require the Finnish language um, skill so you kindly do your research but we're going to look at one of the programs and that is the vocational qualification in food production and we're going to focus on the baker confectioner so this type of qualification is a vocational upper secondary qualification application period is between August and September okay 29th of August 2024 to 11th September 2024 kindly take note of that and the duration of the program is two to three years mode of studying is contact teaching so it's not online and it's in English so they have the location or the campus location here the program will be held during the daytime from Monday to Friday. The cost in studying this program is 0.000 euros, okay? But you have to incur cost for material fees, housing and travel expenses. And they also don't have scholarship that covers these ones. And so let's look at who can apply to this program. You can apply if you are 18 years of age. Um, you have a high school certificate or general school living certificate. Certificate of International English Test, Duolingo. Good IT skills. Good physical and mental condition to study and work in restaurant and catering services. Then you have enough funds for living expenses on the applicant's account to be present in the immigration office for the residence permit. Kindly note that you can only apply for one English program. Okay, so let's look at the Duolingo test. A minimum of 85 points in Duolingo English test is required. For the health requirement, you should have a good health and flexibility regarding working times. These are necessary for working in this field. Strong allergies can be health barriers which can prevent you from becoming a student here. So if you have allergies, I wouldn't advise. Um, you apply for this program, okay, because you'll be tasting a lot of things and you'll be smelling a lot of things So <laughs> please take note of that now Let's look at the most important of all the process which is the suitability process So we have already talked about the minimum point for the Duolingo test Then you record a maximum of two minutes video where you answer the following questions What are your expectations for the training? Why would you like to study in this training? What kind of challenges you might have in studying and living abroad? What kind of job and where do you dream of after studies? You add a video link to the video you've made so you can create a YouTube channel which will be private and then you record yourself. You should be confident in everything you're putting out there. You shouldn't your video should not look like you're reading from somewhere. You can memorize or chew everything in your head and then you just be pouring that out. You memorize it, you practice it with time and then when you sit behind the camera or behind your phone, you'll be able to pour it out confidently. Once you're done, you publish it on YouTube but you make it private. Then you share it to a friend or a family member to see if they can have access to that video. Once they have access to it, then you can use um, the URL link in the application process. Okay, that is how to do this video and then submit it as part of your application. Then you attach certificates of your previous education and employment as well as the Duolingo test certificates to the application. Now, with the selection process, applicants 
will be selected for an interview. So if you are selected for an interview, then you should know that your application, your Duolingo English test, and then your motivational video got you to that stage. Now, once they have the interview with you and they have a brief conversation with you, then they will select their best student, okay? And admission letters will be sent to you. The interview online will be scheduled between 7 to 8th of October and then the selection will be by 18th of October. So if after 18th of October you haven't heard from the college, then it means that you were not considered for admission. Okay, so they do not respond to inquiries about ongoing application process. Kindly take note of that. So after you're graduated from this program, you can either further your studies or you can look for jobs. In the field of your study in Finland. Our next college is the Osao Vocational College and for programs that in English they have quite a number but some of these programs have requirements that I know my viewers do not meet okay. Some of the requirements is they give preference to the Finns and EU citizens. They also have one-on-one -on -one meeting with you and most of my viewers do not have residence permits in Finland. So you don't meet that requirement. And other requirements that you probably might not meet, that is you being able to speak the Finnish language, okay? But the one program which I know you will meet the requirement is the cook. This program is a basic degree in restaurant and catering industry. They give a brief intro to the program and then what the program entails your employment opportunities and if you want to further your program is also listed here so the application period is actually passed but it has been extended the application period um opened on the 2nd of april to 31st of may but it has been extended to towards of august 2024 which is good luck for my viewers and then there is um, their language requirements are also listed here. The program components are also listed here. The price and which is the cost of the training. So the training is free of charge. Students must pay for work clothes, shoe and study materials needed for the studies themselves. For more information, you can reach out to this contact and they'll respond to you and if you want to apply for the training you can use this link and directly submit your application the last school we'll be looking at is Trendu now this college is located in Tampere in Finland I don't know if I'm pronouncing the state or the city correct okay but um, application is currently closed however the program is cook and it's in the restaurant and catering service industry this program requires no tuition fee and so you come to study in the school for absolutely free um, these are the skills you are to obtain after you're done with the program and the content of the program is also listed here the duration of this program is three years and your studies is carried out daytime and also in evenings for the requirements for student selection you should have a qualification equivalent to finish basic education of nine years fluent in english this education is for those who have citizenship or residence permit in finland or eu or any of the schengen countries and so if you are a viewer and then you meet this qualification, you should look out for that. The reason why I'm bringing this program is I might have one or two viewers who might meet this particular requirement. And then those who speak the Finnish at a basic level will be prioritized. If you're a foreign applicant under 18 years, then you should have a guidance living in temporary area before you can apply. In applying, you fill out an application form through this link and then you attach documents regarding to your residence permit and you also attach your certificates of previous education. Your motivation and language skills are tested in an admission interview. Interview will be held in Finland and that is why some of my viewers cannot apply to this program. 
and the total number of people needed for this program is 50 people and then if there are more than 50 eligible applicants then they'll use a random selection for the application well every other information with regards to this program is listed here for more information you can reach out to the guidance counselor or the admission service so that is it now if you have watch the video till now please do want to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't also share this video please share my videos to support the channel thank you so much if you have come or watch the video till now thank you so much to my retaining subscribers thank you so much for coming back each and every time i post a video